really four little screws they just come off and then it leaves you this and then there's one two three four five six seven eight two four six eight nine screws undo the nine screws it leaves you with this there's a little metal plate just falls across here with two screws holding it but just goes across there with two screws holding it but my screws are knackered so they wasn't there. That's not a problem, I can easily put that back. Now what I've got to do is soften up all this mastic somehow around the outside. Everything inside is all free. So now it's a case of heating it up and I'm gonna try it with an air dryer. I'll let you know if it works. Okay, so far no good. Right, we tried this, wasn't quite getting it hot enough. So now it's time for the proper tools. Now we go for the heat gun. Now this should really heat it up and soften up that mastic. Well, the heat gun did the trick, because now We've got all the mastic moss and softened up and look at that just look at that come out absolutely lovely what I did was put a piece of wood on this screwdriver just under here and just give it a little tiny prise to start it going and then it all just came off dead easy. Now I can go inside and disconnect the last couple of electrical wires and get that right out. Then I'm an happy chappy, I can see what's wrong with my tank. Right, so now you get your tank forward a little bit, that leaves you enough room to get here now and disconnect the mains wiring. Very, very simple. Under them three at the top and just a little clamp there to release your wiring. Right, now the whole unit is out, we can start to have a look around and see what the problem was. At the front, all seems to look A-OK, -okay. pretty dry even under there. But when we look back here, where the electric box is, just underneath it, we see where the water's been leaking out and has caused this. Now, I don't know if this hole is through the bottom of the tank or if it's just a bit of surface rust. The only one way to find out is to actually take the tank from the complete unit, which involves taking this off and having a look. After undoing a couple of electrical wires, getting to this, we've undone this big nut here nice and gently. And we take off First of all, the nut. Then there's like a big spacer with the earth wire. Then we have a rubber, I presume a seal, a little tiny, little tiny soppy thing. Then we have a washer and a big star washer. So it goes in that order, is how it goes. So that's the order it goes in. Oh, and then the nut on top of there. So now, we, well, we can already see where the corrosion is. It's from the actual electrical part, the element, not from the tank itself there. It's come leaking from the element. So now we know that the tank also not only corroded there, 
but I've got a hole, a hole pierced right through it where it's water's dripped down, it's gone rotten from the outside in. We've got that out, we've got to take off the element, get a new set of seals and a new tank. Meanwhile, so that no weather can get to the caravan, do any harm whatsoever, I've put the actual burner all back in place with the cover, everything back on as it should be so it looks nice and tidy.